Let go of your past. Let it go, let it go, let it go. But wait, your past made you who you are today. How can you just let go? Let go, let go. I want to change my life. I want a great future. Then this is what you can do with your past. This video is all about that. And I learned it and I use it. And I'm going to talk about how I arrived here in this beautiful new country. Once again, I'm just traveling the world and right now I'm in New Zealand. So that's the ocean right behind me and you hear some birds maybe as well. Um, and so for those of you who don't know me, my name is Rachel Smets and I help ambitious professionals who are stuck in a career or situation or job that they don't like that is not fulfilling and I help with creating clarity and creating confidence and creating those next steps because all it is is climbing to that desired life and you can create your desired life just like I created mine and it all takes small steps and this is just about that letting go of the past you hear that so often oh let go and it will get better oh let go and it, yeah but your past made you who you are my past my education my teachers my parents my learnings my adventures my experiences my jobs everything has made me who i am today that's why you can't just erase your past you know they always talk about having a backpack well yeah we all have a backpack can you just get rid of it no you are who you are today and you have a backpack you know and there's good stuff and less good stuff in there but that's okay you are who you are but if you want to create the life that you really desire you have to look to your future now how can you use your past to create your future it's easy it's really really easy look imagine you're sitting in a car right and you're looking in the rearview mirror what do you see you see what's behind you you see your past you see your mistakes your failures the people you've been with and maybe not anymore and you see all of that in the past that's what you see in the rearview mirror but your future lies ahead of you your future is what's in front of you. So if you stick your eyes to that rear of your mirror and you keep looking behind you, what's going to happen? You're going to crash. You are going to crash. You can't. You can't keep looking at your past. You can't hold down to your past. Your past is good to once in a while, while you're driving, look at that rear of your mirror once in a while. But that's it stick to moving forward stick to going towards your goal to the life that you want to to create go forward drive forward and look into your future and you can create your future the way you want it if you do that if you keep focused on your future and you use the rearview mirror you use your past to create your future. What do I mean by that? <laughs> Let me explain. We all make mistakes, right? I mean, I've had different jobs that I really didn't like, that stressed me out and that burned me out. But I learned, I learned from that. I learned like, oh, wait a minute, that's a job I like and that's a job I will never apply for anymore because it's not what I like. What about relationships? I am divorced, but I learned I learned from that relationship like what is the kind of man that I like and what are the qualities that I like and what I don't like and I learned about myself who do I fit with and who not we all make mistakes we all have failures we make decisions and then yeah and then we think ah oh, maybe I should have taken the other route you know maybe I should have you know route A and route B and but so you take another turn you know, you make a decision in your life and you take another turn, you learn from it. You learn that you're not going to make the same mistake twice, right? You learn from your mistakes. You learn from your failures. The example everybody uses, but it's just so true. Edison, you know, the light bulb. 
he tried and tried and tried and tried again and took him a thousand or ten thousand attempts but he created that light bulb now if he would have said after the first time oh i failed mistake i can't do it then what nothing right if, if, if you don't try and keep trying and keep moving and making mistakes, in fact, I really, really, really want you to make mistakes. I tell everyone, make mistakes, because if you just do the same thing over and over again and you play safe, the things that you're good at, that if, you know, if you stay in the job that you're doing right now, it's safe. You know what you're doing, you know the money and the paycheck that you get at the end of the month, it's safe. Maybe you're in a relationship that you think, yeah, well, I know what I have, at, you know, and I know what I have in this relationship and I know how it goes and it's just safe. But you're not happy. If you're not happy, you got to create another future. And how do you do that? You look at all the things that you have in your backpack and in the rear view mirror, you learn from it and you think, okay, I'm not going to do that anymore. I want a different future. I want a future with this, this, and this, and this. And then you take steps and you create that. So yes, look at your past, look at everything that you've learned and the mistakes that you've made and the failures that you had. And you learn from that. Failure is feedback. It's feedback. You need failures in your life. You need to make mistakes because otherwise you're not growing. If you want to change your life, if you want to create a life that you desire, if you want a future that you desire, you can create it. You can create it by looking in the rearview mirror, looking at your past, learning from all of that, and then creating the future that you want. But if you stick to the past, you think, ah, oh, I tried it before and I failed and you know, and I can't. That's so easy. So many clients come to me like, yeah, but I tried and I can't. Yeah, but I tried, you know, I'm not good enough. Yeah, I know, but you know, what, what will my parents say? Or what will my husband say? Or what will other people say? I mean, I've been doing this all of my life. What will they say? Those are all excuses. If you want to really, really change your life, create and achieve more things in your future, then you can do that because you've learned. You've learned from your mistakes and you're not going to fail again. Look, this one quote is just saying it all. Your past does not equal your future. This is so important. Your past does not equal your future. So many people think, oh, but I failed before, so I'm going to fail again. No. So I, you know, somebody critiqued on me, so, so they're going to be negative again. No. Your past is your past. Look at it, but it doesn't equal the future. It's not going to be the same. Life change. If there's one constant thing in life, it is change. Look at the green and the plants and the sky and the clouds and it just changes all the time. Everything evolves, everything changes all the time and so is your life. It's ever changing. So why don't you start looking forward? I'm frustrated sometimes because I see people hanging on to that past like, yeah, but you know, I did it before and it didn't succeed and I can't do it and I'm not good enough and I can't because I failed in the past. That's your past. Now, move on. Create the future that you want. And don't stick to the past. It's done. It's over with. You tried that. You failed. Now you can do something else. Make mistakes. Learn, learn, learn. Do, do, do. Try, try, try till you die. As long as you keep moving forward, right? And create that future. So, letting go of the past? You can't really let go of the past. Look at it. Look at that rear view mirror. And think, okay, yeah, I've done that, that went well, I like that, I don't like that, mm, okay, I want to do more of that, and less of that, and I like that, so I'll do more of that, the path of least resistance, I like that, I like that, I like that, and I'm just going to go and go and go, right? And that's how you create your future. So I want you to comment below this video, my past does not equal my future. Comment below, my past does not equal my future. Comment below, my past does not equal my future. And if you like this video, please hit the subscribe button and subscribe to my channel. Hit that little bell, hit a like, and it's a whole chapter in my book, by the way. I, you know, I wrote a whole chapter of this, you know, the past does not equal the future. Um, my book is Awaken Your Confidence for those who don't know me or my books. 
and I love helping you. So I want you to create the life that you desire. Start now. Your past does not equal your future. Remember to subscribe to my channel and I'll see you in the next video.